dot org secrecy or the ruin on the rock by eliza fenwick volume three letter seven continued didst thou never dear walter see two curs pop unexpectedly on one another within a yard and a half of a bone er er rar says one softly setting down his lifted forefoot er er rar replies t'other and each clapping his cowardly tail between his legs slinks backward a little way then ventures to turn round and scampers off like a hero if thou hast wit to find the moral thou mayest also apply it as for me having reached the top round of my information i beg leave to resign you to your cogitations and am as i am Philmar. p s she is a girl of spirit and on my soul tis infamous she should be thus treated had the earl a grain of kindness he would rescue her but no he asserts he cannot possibly think of interfering in two years she will be of age and then if she should demand his protection it will be a different matter ah but i won't say what you are to know boyer that griffiths has accidentally met his dear friend the butler it was she herself spoke to her uncle of having seen a stranger and what she further told him which the butler does not know irritated him to strike her instantly she rushed from his presence into the park but finding herself pursued changed her direction which was toward her favourite wood and flew to the other side of the park where the wall not being very perfect she climbed it rapidly and in sight of her pursuers threw herself headlong into the moat she was taken up unhurt and is locked within her own apartments either from disappointment terror or real indisposition she confines herself to her bed and preserves a perfect silence whenever andrew or her female domestic approaches mr valmont has not seen her since the prevaricating confusion of some of the servants made mr valmont suspect them of being bribed to admit a stranger but the butler being quite positive no one living soul more than he knows of has been within the walls he and others think miss valmont has seen the spirit again and is disordered in her intellects i am completely puzzled that hermit miss monckton has seen montgomery and calls him a fine elegant fellow who makes love to every pretty woman he meets if that's his fort he would scarcely be content to creep like a snail out of his shell for a few stolen moments at midnight but what has set me to doubt and conjecture is that griffiths has heard of a very handsome man who lodges at a farm hard by and wanders about the country night and day the people say it is a pity such a sweet gentleman should go mad for love yet is it possible any one should know so well how to enter and escape but those who had lived in the secrets of the castle pshaw in ten hours after you receive this letter i hope to sup in your new lodgings End of section forty five